Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. Today we're gonna to make a rustic industrial shelf using redwood lumber, angle iron, and chain. The first step was to cut the piece of redwood down to the width we needed. Next, we placed the wood on the angle iron and marked where we needed to be cut. Here we're using a portable bandsaw to cleanly cut the metal, but there are a lot of tools you can use to cut metal. This piece of angle iron is something we found in someone's trash and needed a little cleaning up with mineral spirits. Then we sealed it with a clear spray poly. We did a light sanding on our piece of wood. This wood was in great condition and didn't need much prep. We finished it with a coat of Danish oil to make the grain really pop. This piece of redwood is from our friend Chris, who has had it for 30 years and gifted it to us so we could do something cool with it. Next, we did a mock-up of where the chain would sit to figure out where to cut the chain. Here we are cutting the chain to length with our Ryobi bolt cutters, making the two chains the same length. These chains were nice, new, and shiny, so we needed to knock that down a bit by lightly spraying them with oil rub bronze, but if we were to do it again, we'd probably use a brown spray paint to match the board. To attach the chain, we're adding light duty anchor points to the top front of the wood. We decided on hex head screws because we like the industrial look of the head. We used a magnetic stud finder to find the stud in the wall. There was only one, so we got the placement of the angle iron, marked the holes, drilled pilot holes, and added anchors to three of the holes. Then we attached the four hex head screws. Then we added the shelf and secured the angle iron to the wood with a couple screws. Now, if you don't have a bolt cutter, you can actually get chain cut at the Home Depot. You can also get S hooks or quick links to attach chain to anchors. But since we have the bolt cutters, we're gonna cut a small section out of four links so that we can slip the chain onto the anchors. We had to cut the sections a couple times, but we got it cut through. Then we attached the chain to the wall anchor point, then secured the anchor onto the wall. This turned out even cooler than expected. This redwood is just perfect. And if you don't have a friend like Chris, you could also get a piece of lumber at the Home Depot and stain it. But we highly recommend finding your own local lumber supply friend. Right after we finished this project, we both at the same time said, it looks like a drawbridge. It needs a castle. <laughs> and of course, I ran to my Lego room and grabbed my Cinderella's castle. I really like both looks and am undecided if I should keep the castle or Harry Potter themed decor on the shelf. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube.